We're going to be asking questions now that you guys can jump in on, and I think we're just going to go in a row, starting, and starting with Sandy. Um, and Sandy, just to take a minute with you, you're currently employed through? The Autism Women's Network. And what does your work involve? Uh, I do community outreach with them. Excellent. Good. All right. How's the blogosphere affected the autism community, and how has your site affected you as a person? Do you want me you to can go this? ahead and. Does someone else oh. want to start first? I should go. That's fine. Yep. Um, want me to repeat it again? Yeah, repeat it. How has the blogosphere affected the autism community and affected you, your site affected you as a person? I feel the blogosphere has affected the autistic community because it, it like I said in my talk, it, it, it connects the, it connects people, it, co it connects the autistic people with the neurotypical people and, and, it, and it, it gives us a voice and it helps it helps us boost our confidence, and it, it gives us it gives us a good feeling inside, and it affected me as a person because it made me stronger, and made me feel better about myself. One of the things I notice um, with so many of my adult clients is uh, one of the challenges with communication is the immediacy of it. That when you're standing in front of someone, you need to read them their cues and respond immediately. And through blogging. Have you found that it gives you more time to put your thoughts together, which kind of helps you to find the words to empower how you think about the world? I feel whenever I talk now, because I think about what I'm writing, it, it actually does make me feel like I'm, I could communicate better. It makes me, it makes me um, understand what I'm s saying better and it makes me think about how to say it. So when you are standing in front of a person and you need to say something similar, you feel like you found the words through your blogging that helps you to articulate it in that quick moment? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. All right. Thank you. Okay. Alex, you want to tackle that one? Yeah. Um, figuratively, this is an autism conference. Um, oh, I thought that was going to be funnier than it actually was. Sorry. <laughs> um, can you repeat the question? I'm sorry. Absolutely. I won't tackle you personally, but here's the question to tackle. Um, how's the blogosphere affected uh, the autism community, and how has your site affected you as a person? Well, I'm going to go a little more general. and I'm just, First of all, I'm going to say that the Internet really just changed my life. Um, if it hadn't been there, um, I don't know where I'd be. Probably not here. Um, well, obviously not here because this is an autistic blogging panel, but, but, <laughs> but also, I mean, I probably wouldn't have graduated high school, much less college. Um, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I uh, attended George Mason University, um, and I probably wouldn't have applied in, uh, well, yeah, yeah, it is a good school, but, you know, you know. Alex, are you currently still in the, at the university? Just graduated with a degree in film and video studies. Oh, excellent. Uh, yeah, um, and uh, I made a documentary uh, and that I posted on the internet that got more than 25,000 views just on YouTube alone, and there were a, way, a gazillion other sites it was posted on, and uh, you know, no one would have seen it if it hadn't been for the internet, because pretty sure CNN wasn't going to run that. Um, I mean, they might nowadays, because they know what YouTube is, and they go on there and find things, but yeah. Um, uh, and, and, and in response to how has the... Internet changed the. Uh, and by the way, my timer's not running. Yeah, were we? Was everyone we, allowed three minutes a yeah. person or three minutes a question? Uh, sorry, I'm a very um, autistic person. I like to keep keep time. Um, I was actually. Uh, I'm not. We're we a little it, confused because there's a timer up here. Yeah, there's a timer being... that tells us when we need to shut up and you know put the microphone down. And it was supposed to be set, I believe, for three minutes a person, and I don't think it got reset, so we're just a little confused. Yeah. But, you know, um, I'll, 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 continue. I'll, I'll cut you off. Wait, wait, I did, definitely didn't get three minutes, though. So no, I, no, I no, I guess they just oh, keep going. Oh, and, I thought and, you meant right now. I'm like, it's just starting. And when we, we sent right. it, because now you don't get the full three minutes, so I'll, I'll get to just cut you off. Next year, you should hire an autistic person to run just the timer. And they, <laughs> Uh, 
the internet really do, has made, made the autistic community something that actually is, is accessible to the general public. Um, I didn't know there was an autism community besides the internet until I found out about it you know, watching a, a movie about Temple Grandin. So uh, the internet's really changed my life. And, you know, I, I was making a joke before, but I, you know, I, I really do think that I probably would have ended up in a center somewhere if I didn't have that outlet. You know, I, I think autistic people th themselves are, are very um, good at, at a certain thing, and you all know this, but I'm just going to say this. Um, basically, it's harder to find other people who share that interest without the internet. And, and it's also harder to find job people that share a specific interest. There's a, I, I heard on NPR there was a guy whose specialization is the history of chairs. Well, I bet you, um, if you're obsessed with chairs and there's no internet, you're not going to find anyone else obsessed with chairs. So, Alex, um, sounded like you weren't having a good, good go of high school or getting yourself organized to get through it, but that the blog is, um, blogosphere has really helped to, you to find motivation. Yeah. So how did it help you to get through college courses, which are not easy to get through when you're not a well-organized person? Yeah. Well, um, actually, you'd be surprised. College is much easier than high school. Uh, for me, at least, because college gave me the ability to, well, well, could you repeat the question? I'm sorry. Just I was wondering how you found your motivation to oh, do well in right. college since you were struggling through high school. I really wanted just to prove everyone, you know, that I could do it. And w when I started my website, it, it gave me, you know, a feeling of confidence finding other people like me, um, finding other people obsessed with Linux and computers. And, you know, I, I was able to even found, find people in my local area who I got to go to parties with. Um, the only party I had gone to before that was a party, uh, uh, was like some sort of like, you know, party in middle school where um, uh, I never got invited back again because I hit some guy with a rubber chicken because he called my dad old. Um, <laughs> All right, so I'm going to have you stop there, but yeah, thank you. That's of course. great. Um, All right, so Sandy? Uh, well, uh, um, I, before my, I started writing my blog, I had been depressed for a really, really long time, like probably 10 years maybe, and I was so depressed that I was to the point of being suicidal several times, if not almost constantly. And through the process of writing my blog, I probably got out of that depression and have not really been depressed for the last couple of years. Um, so probably writing my blog has changed the way that I think completely. It's helped me refocus the way I deal with challenges because whenever I encounter a challenge now, instead of going into a whole meltdown process where I think about something just over and over and over again. Um, I have finally learned to stop and think about, all right, well, what kind of solutions can I come up with now? Like, you know, how can I, like, for my blog, what can someone expect from this? Like, what um, tips can I come up with now? And so it helps me just, like, stop and think and, like, turn around which I was not doing before. I would just like stop and like ruminate for days and just like slip deeper into my depression so that it really changed my life. And I like, I don't know how I would have done it without my blog. Do you get a lot of feedback on your blogs from people? Do they ask you questions or yeah, comments? Yeah, I, I, I do. And so how does that help you kind of shape your own thinking? Uh, it, it challenges me sometimes trying to come up with ways to um, help people, but it, it feels really good like being in a position to, to change someone's life. Cool. And so how have you used that in connecting back to your own personal employment now that you're working for the Women's Network? It, um, I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Well, you were saying that the blog's helping you to clarify your voice and be a better mm -hmm. problem solver, and now you're employed where before you were, you know, felt that like you had to leave a job because it was too overwhelming, and now you found a job focused on your strengths. How are you using those problem solving skills on your job now? Well, I feel like now I'm in a position where I can, um, for instance, get other like companies to create accommodations for people who were once in my position. Uh, children who were in my position, adults who were in my position, it feels really good to be able to do that. And it sounds like your blog allows other people to, to learn how to express their mm -hmm. voice as they are interacting with all of you guys, because not every single person can start a blogosphere um, right. on the spectrum. But by you forming communities, is that what you're feeling that you're able to do, is form a community? 
Yeah, and I can, I can teach people very simple things that they can do. You know, it's not, it doesn't take a huge act. It's like a very simple thing you can say to someone or, you know, like a, like a small thing you can do in your life. It doesn't take a lot. Cool. And one more question. We're offline now with the questions, um, but you're doing great. It, because you were a classroom teacher, have, has your blog been used to consult with kids who are struggling in a classroom? Do, they have, do you ever get those kind of questions? Uh, I, I do from parents. Yeah. Yeah. And do you like those? I, I do because I, when I was a teacher, I used to get so frustrated about the things that that when I, I saw with the school, and um, that that was actually a lot of why I started my blog too. Oh, very good. Excellent. Okay.